forgot to call. Yeah, you follow through blows. I don't like this guy. No! I thought oh so. God. What is he doing? I'm gonna go and meet the person who says she's Dr. Hansen. No, you're not. Oh. An ID on your crispy critter. A Dr. Leslie Hansen. Oh my god. Call Jessica. Hansen was there? Just, you should have let me die with my family. Don't you dare say that. <laughs> what just happened? Look at her. Oh my god. We shoot. It's hot, it's humid. Everyone's just a little more pissed off than usual. <laughs> this is why I like watching this show. My whole family was killed in a car accident. Oh, they did Some though. Horrific I talk about this so much, but I don't know. I don't know if they did. Some adapted. of them at least. And now some maniac says that I'm here for a reason. Like some sick destiny. She's out it's getting harder. And, and I'm harder. here. <laughs> <bouncing> <laughs> a goddamn ball. I said so. <laughs> uh, shouldn't be laughing though. It's kind of sad. But you know what I mean. She's funny. Morning. Where's her Red Bull? She needs her Red Bull. <laughs> You need some sort of in Oh, okay, alcohol. <laughs> that works too. I mean, at least we know what the killer looks like, right? And that she's strong as hell. Pissing me off more. That woman. She I don't think that was the person. Shoulder. I don't think that was the killer. Let's be completely you honest. Fired again. Fine. What do you know about wigs? Uh, Patsy wore one every day of my life as a kid. The killer was wearing a wig. Oh, I she's wearing. Well, wearing I didn't a wig. catch it, which means it's a damn good wig. Probably human hair. Tell me, there's only a dozen places in the city what? that makes wigs that good. Oh, only three. If I fell, would you save me? Get off that! And she's gonna get blamed for that. You watch her get blamed for that. See, this is exactly the type of shit I was talking about, the new. The hell's wrong with you? It's not what it, I told you. I told you. And you super powered ass is out of here. Oh. Hope the kid sticks up for it. Okay, so we're back up and running. A few things are going on. We've got a few, like, we've got a lead on uh, the person we're looking for. Obviously, she was wearing a wig. We found that out. Uh, and now there's three places in the city that make wigs out of real hair. So now we have leads that we can follow up on, which is fantastic. We can figure out who she is, what she's doing. I don't think she's evil. Let's get that clear. My first impression of her is she's not evil at all. Like, I don't, not, not even at all. I think she is just as defensive and trying to look after herself as Jess is. I mean, why else wear a wig unless, I mean... She's bald. I can't exactly understand. Maybe she was a cancer survivor or something. I don't know. But let's just... I'm going to assume that she's good only because she went there. She didn't do anything bad. It was almost... She gave Jess her powers. Oh, she saved Jess. I don't think there's anything wrong with that lady. I think she's trying to hide from the people that killed Simpson. That's just my opinion. Now, there's something else that I want to, like, address with the season. I would really want to see Jess get some respect. And I don't just mean respect as, oh my god, it's a vigilante superhero. I mean some respect in the sense of people looking at her like a human being. Because she's going through all of this and no one treats her well. Maybe Trish, maybe Malcolm, that's it. That's it. We've just seen it. She's just saved that kid's life. And they blamed on her without even asking questions. No questions asked. Your fault, you're out of here in 30 days. That's what infuriates me. I feel like they're going to get, like, I, I feel like that guy that's in there, he's going to have some sort of redemption arc, or we're going to figure out why he hates supers more. I kind of feel like he's not going to stay as hated as he is, but that could change. But yeah, I just want to see some improvement for Jess's situation, because she's been through so much, and it's still going down. That's the thing, it's still going downwards. I don't think it can get worse than Kilgrave, but it's still a hard way to live. That's why I love you. You see, I like him, but I don't like him. There's bits about him that I like, there's bits about him that I don't like, and I just can't figure out what to think of him completely. Jess said she did a background check, though, so I trust him. Absolutely. I'm just not sure I like the attitude and the way he treats her, but that could just be... I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Especially, hold on. Hold on a second. Not too many few episodes. We've completely l lost track of this. He went onto a computer and took something. And I think it was the file to do with the magician super, wasn't it? Wasn't it the file? Imagine he's the one that killed Simpson. No. Okay, I'm getting a bit too... 
jumping to conclusions, but holy shoot. Because he was trying, he was going onto a computer, he was taking the uh, information, he was copying it over. Information of that wizard guy, the fast guy. I think it was, that's what it was, but that's just, I've just popped back into my mind again. Imagine he's the one behind this. Also, just think about it, if Jess can't figure out who he is, chances are IGH, the same reason we can't figure out the people that Jess was dealt with, for example, you know how we can't get that information, the big blank bubble in her life that's missing? He could have the same bubble that we don't see, but we see everything else as normal. Imagine. She's not a girl. She's an aberration. Makes you feel better about yourself, doesn't it? Calling her names less than other makes you feel superior to her. Well, and here's the respect Jones again. Come now on. She's got to deal okay. with the fallout for your retainer. Now neither of us works for the other. I do not like that guy at all. At all. Dear God, it's Patsy. <laughs> Sally, wow. Uh, Why was that so funny? So remember you. We're looking for this woman. Has she come in here? My clients value their privacy. Money. He wants money. <laughs> no name and pays cash. Poor dear. Why poor dear? She lost all her hair. Chemo, I imagine. I Cancer see. Ca what did I just say? Cancer. I just said that. Anything else? <laughs> oh, more money. No. That's <laughs> Get no, played. I, I think that's kind of funny. You were 40. You were 16 going on 30. Who are you kidding? You're yeah. Crazy. Malcolm shot this? I made him She's going to be fuming at Malcolm as well. What did I just say? Time to go public. Well, so much for reclaiming your privacy. It's the only leverage we have. I have a better idea. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you and Patsy look like you're good friends. Makes sense. You're both recovering addicts. Wow, you did your homework on me too. Goodbye. Yeah. No, oh my I work god. With wow. Because she's a damn good PI. Why is he so trying to? A bunch of saints. He's a leech. He's literally a leech. You'd fit in well at Chen Consulting. I thought so. I thought so. God. So good. Can I just say, I cannot wait for Jess to absolutely whip this guy up. He infuriates me. He Now he's trying to leech Malcolm from Jessica's business. Because he wants stuff on Jess. Well, 100% he wants stuff on Jess. The thing about Jess is, I don't think... Jess has any more that's not already out in the world now. Like, I remember in season one you had that arc of like, we had that sort of thing with Luke and Jess and they wanted to stay hidden. They didn't want to show themselves for obvious reasons, uh, as we've seen at the start of this season. But that's all out now. So for me, Jess, there's nothing to dig up. Like, if you dig something up, it's not going to affect her. She's probably just going to kick your ass. <laughs> like, it's not going to change anything. Malcolm, on the other hand, that's a low blow. If he goes up after Malcolm, that's going to really elicit a reaction out of Jess that we do not want. And that's more publicity for him to act on. So if he goes that route, I would not be surprised. You sort of saw in the uh, earlier episodes that he went to Jess and he said, we want to consume Elias, we will keep you obviously in the business and you can do as you please like you, ha like you have been. And then after she said no, piss off, he resorted back to going, I'm going to destroy your business, I'm going to do it the rough way, I gave you a chance. Now I think he's doing that with Malcolm, I think he's going, look, Come join my side, I'm business, I'm game, you're better suited, we're over here. As soon as Malcolm says no, get the hell out, this guy's going to come in full force and pretty much say, I gave you a chance, now I'm going to break you. Why do I feel like that's his game? I do have to say as well, like I, I kind of feel like Malcolm's arc is going to continue to be very complex throughout this series, not just in the sense of the recovering drug addict, but lots of other things, because all those sorts of things are so up and down and so sporadic, I think he's going to have a lot of change, he may make a wrong decision on uh, during the process, something may happen, but stuff definitely going to get shuffled around 100%. There's no doubt in my mind. You. You did this. That's what happens. That is what happens. I've heard a lot about you. All of it nauseating. Ooh. Pick up the car or something. Pick it up. Someone's fist. I. G. H. Get away from me. Repeat Wait. The letters. Just repeat them. Why is she? G H. Now remember them for when you call Metro General and demand every file they have on I G H. General. Ah! Yeah. What the hell are you? I'm angry, and I'm not sure there's anything I won't do anymore. Ooh. Especially to a prick like you who thinks that you can take whatever and whoever you want 
Oh my god! Children! Jack! Oh my god! That's a switch I have not seen! Okay, we have never seen Jess like that. I mean, we've seen her to an extent be horrible. And I know he's done some horrible things, but dude, for a second you're sitting there thinking, what wouldn't she do? This is what I'm talking about, about how like, back and forth and up and down the show is. Her arc is probably going to be sitting in the shadows, helping people when she could, to full on just not giving a crap. It looks like she's on a downhill. I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but it honestly does look it. it like, it, it looks like she's on a downhill. I remember thinking or speaking to someone in the comments quite a while ago, actually, about something. Kilgrave may be gone, but his footprint in the show and the effect he has put it on to Jess will never go. But will never go. That is full life scarred her. Jesus, he spent 700 bucks on chocolate bars. Dude, where are my gifts when I was a client? <laughs> my time was your gift, which I don't have. What if IGH saves her? Wait, dude! You know when you find some... Could that be a theory? Okay, I'm not going to bring the screen down because this shouldn't take long. Do you remember we were with Kilgrave when Hogarth had that thing where she was trying to replicate his powers because she thought that that would be... Well, she was power-driven. She wanted it. What if the more she hears about IGH through Jess, the more connected she is, the more that leads on to her then seeking them out? Is that a bit, a bit of a hunch or, or sort of a, a stab in the dark? Wait, what do I do now? why is he there? Read your mail. He's got alcohol. Cat. You save Beatles' life. Oh, you yes! Me, but I'm tearing up the eviction notice, and I wanted to say thank you. Come on! What did I say about the Upward? I didn't think he was always going to be bad. I said that. Wait, was it him that I said that about? I think it was. Nice. But alcohol! Her favourite! I'm just scared of losing my son. I can't talk. She's right here. What did I say? Okay. She doesn't know anything. Let's keep it that way. What's the bit he's okay. in IGH? What's the bit so, he's the super? What did I say? Oh my god. That forgery thing? It's kind of like my superpower. I'm good at it. <laughs> Great, actually. Dude, what if she uses him for... Oh. I'm not ashamed of that. On the opposing guy. Imagine she u not uses him, You're but asks for his assistance. I knew it. I knew it. Whoa, whoa, hey. Whoa, wow. That's, um... I'm very, very confused right now. I'm just gonna... Yeah. I feel like that could develop. It's just... I'm very confused as that that whole interaction. To be fair, just, just really did go for it. <laughs> I can't just sit in your office and do nothing. I, she ne he no, needs I to help. Good at doing nothing. But this is the thing that Jess has had a problem with. Uh, not working... Call price. Uh, hey. Not working with people. I've got skills and you goddamn need me. So you're gonna start trusting me and teaching me and giving me 25% yeah. of everything that door. Please say good. 20%. <laughs> yes! Let's talk alternative options. Okay. Alternatives? There are studies all around the world. And give Israel me, give me a timetable on the cure. Oh! Years. Maybe decades. But... What did I say about IGH? Mark my words. It. I'm sorry, but I will get what I need. See? Either from you or from some... Alternative alley options. IGH. But I would rather be you. So would I. Wow. And she's not gonna give her it to her, give her anything. You're useless. Jerry. Whoa. Jerry. Okay guys, we're going over this IGH theory again because it's really starting to like point in that direction. Hogarth needs treatment. She has got a, an issue that currently has no cure, right? And it's gonna be years until a cure comes, uh, comes about. She doesn't have a cure. She can't figure this out. She's trying to seek alternative options through trusted sources, even if they aren't legal, but they're denying her. I don't know. But anyway, she's going to go down that route. She's starting to crumble, and she's going to go find IGH, and it's probably going to do... I I've got a feeling it's going to be bad, because this is like desperation, and whenever you see desperation, most of the time, it doesn't work out. I kind of feel like this is going to go a wrong way, a, a way that we don't want it to. Inez Green. Inez, Inez Green. Green. So that must be who she is, right? Panhandling, vagrancy. She's homeless. Homeless. Probably can't deal with a boss or a landlord. It's like some kind of modified taser. taser. Enough to take her down? 
Try it on me. <laughs> just zap me. I'm not gonna zap you. Just zap me, god damn it. Jess? Oh. Jess? Jess, wake up. Oh my god, Jess? Jess? <laughs> Her face. Well, that'll work. Is she around? <laughs> More money. She's holed up in the old uh, bank building. What is that? So it is going to be her up there. Yes. Oh. Wait, that's the thing Simpson was... No, I said about the drugs. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm going to need to pause it. Wait. Wait, hold on, who was that? Was it the same person? I didn't see. It's a different person. What the heck? The only thing I really want to talk about right now that's really major, I said last season when Trish had that, oh, she ate those pills to fight off Simpson. I said very clearly, she loves the idea of being a super, she loves having powers, the minute she gets hooked on a drug like that, she's not going to be able to stop. It's going to become an addiction thing, and I honestly feel like that's going to directly connect her with Malcolm in a much bigger way. Because imagine the way they do it, right? Think about this. Trish starts becoming addicted. We've just seen she's taken the spray again to maintain those powers. The drugs. Bloody hell. They're back. So she's taken that thing, and she's gone to, to help fight, fight with Jess. Now, I mean, it doesn't look like she's going to be able to use those powers right now, but that's just a taster. She's got that device now, which means probably more and more and more usages she's gonna become addicted and the reason I think it's gonna hold the whole thing's gonna connect with Malcolm is because we've already seen that like Malcolm connects with people that are down are, are beaten and he's trying to help people I honestly believe we're gonna get Malcolm helping Trish get out of it get out of addiction then they're gonna end up being in a relationship because they got that to relate uh, they, got, they can relate to each other in that sense and that's how we're gonna get that final arc of them too and they're gonna come together relationship fantastic I don't know why, but that's how I'd write it because you've sort of we've sort we've seen the back end of Malcolm's addiction. We're seeing the front end of Trisha's addiction. I think that's just a theory, obviously. A front end of Trisha's addiction. Surely they come full circle and then wrap bound wrap uh, background together. Wait, who's that? Someone's picking Jess's lock. Are you kidding me? Someone presumably has been hired by another person, right? Stealing all of her stuff, which probably means it's someone being hired for by the opposer, opposing person. Ooh. Who was that? It didn't, I, I couldn't recognize them, but I'm pretty sure they would have been hired by someone. Why did IGH pay your medical bills? You guys did with IGH? No. Yeah. I said I'd never say anything, and I didn't. We're not. Does she have IGH. supers? Does she have she abilities or something? I, mean, I know they had a fight, but we didn't really see much. I don't want anything to do with Ooh. them. Ours are the reason you need to help us. Trish. Back off. You see, Trish is losing it. It's okay. Oh my God! It's the same sort of what Simpson was like. Did she do that to you when you were a patient? I wasn't a patient. I was a nurse. She was, she a, was the patient. A nurse. She was a patient. She threw me like I was a rag doll. Ten feet into a glass. I wonder cabinet. why. Because maybe IGH isn't that bad. Back. Just wrong I products. I've said spreads. this before. Guys, I said this last time. I, I kind of have this weird feeling that IGH itself isn't going to be a bad company. It's going to be a few people in it and a few products of it that are going to be bad. Hence why it's got this bad reputation. And for some reason, someone's going after them. All the people that have information on it. So that's the confusing thing. What's with IGH? Is it the whole of IGH? Is it, is it just some of them? And why are they killing people off? Because we still don't fully understand. Obviously, it's about information. It's about speaking. So confusing. I like this season because for me, it's like it's so complex in, 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 in its nature and how mysterious it is. I think it's fantastic. Look at all the stuff you flagged and a whole lot more. I'm sure she's been sitting on some twisted shit. You hear? She's straight up. I knew it. I said so. What the f*** for me, lady? Ooh. Nick? Nick, what's going on? Wait, why? Oh my god! I don't understand! Oh. 
Why has she done that? Who is she? Dude, look at the blood everywhere! Oh my god! What's wrong? Stay in the car. And oh my god, all that evidence is gonna get connected to Jess. Because it's all from her apartment. They think you did this. Did what? I said Just so! Hands behind your head! They, I, I knew it. I knew it. Now! Yes. They the thought, wow. Get out of the ground now! It's not me. Bro, the neighbor's gonna hate her even more now. Look at him! Oh my goodness! That's not me. That is not you. <sighs> okay guys, this is weird because I went from this season being like, I don't think she's evil. I, I don't think she's evil to, I think she's evil. This is what I'm saying. The show just messes with your mind. It's the same with Kilgrave. When you have that splinter of like, could he be good? And then it's just like, nah, bolt, completely stripped from you. That's how I feel right now with this, because I thought she was good. I thought she maybe had good intentions. She attacked people. She's murdered people. She just murdered someone for taking information on Jess. Like, what's that all about? And like I said, unless it's somehow related to Jess, but I... I don't know, guys. I, I honestly can't figure it out. I cannot figure this out. So she's gone and practical. She's gone and murdered this guy for, 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 for no reason whatsoever, and it's been pinned on Jess. I said it as soon as it was going to happen, or as soon as the evidence was all there, boom, it's going to get pinned on Jess. She's going to get blamed. The only good thing I see coming out of this is now I think it's going to be Malcolm and Trish saving Jess, and we're going to get that du duo continue. We do have to be careful, though, as well, because Trish is on that, uh, I think she's on that addiction cycle. She's really aggressive, too. Like, bloody hell, she's doing horrible things. Uh, not horrible things. Uh, she's just being very, very forward, very aggressive, uh, and she doesn't seem to have a filter right now, and I'm just worried where that's going to take her. Where could that take her? That was a very, very, like, informative episode on everything surrounding IGH in the case. Uh, there's still a lot of things that I'm, I'm a bit confused about though, specifically IGH, whether it is all of IGH that's bad or whether it's bits of it, you know, products of it or people that work there, maybe a few people that they've created. Could that be the only issue or is it literally the whole of IGH? Because it looks like we've just found someone from IGH who's completely normal. Although she was told not to say anything, so that's another really confusing piece that I'm I'm struggling to put into the puzzle. IGH is just a big blurry mystery to me, a big blurry mystery that I cannot figure out. Now, one of the other bigger things that sort of keeps sort of shifting under the radar is the person Trish is dating. He's obviously going behind Trish's back, he's digging stuff up on Trish and what the whole scenario around IGH. Could he be hired? Could he be the one that was the one who killed Simpson? Honestly, I have no idea. I think, I honestly think there's going to be more than one issue this season. It's not going to be a simple one, kill a grave is the problem. It's going to be boom, 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 here are your villains, now we've got to resolve it. I feel like it's going to be very very much more complex to solve. Uh, Kilgrave, the thing about Kilgrave, he was very there and then. Like, there was no real major mystery, if that makes sense. I mean, there was, but it wasn't major. It was very much, with, with Kilgrave, it was, we know the issue, we know who it is. We've just got to sort it out and figure out how to sort it out. Uh, so this season for me is definitely more of a mystery, definitely a lot more pieces of a puzzle to put together, way more difficult to understand, way more complex, which I'm enjoying. I think it's a very, very, it shows another depth to the show, which I think is fantastic. In terms of what now, for me, the biggest thing is figuring out the motive of this person uh, that has been killing people, this lady. I don't, I can't figure out what her motive is. I, I thought she was going to be good. Turns out not. Uh, just what's her motive? Why is she killing people? Why surrounding Jess as well? That's another a, a really confusing thing. Why kill people associated with Jess or trying to do stuff to Jess? So yeah, just figure out the motive, why she's doing it, uh, who she is, how to explain why she's doing things, her behavior, uh, and then I think we go from there. Like I said, I think this is going to be a lot more complex than the last season, uh, so it's not going to be as simple as who is she, move on. It's going to be a matter of who is she, what does that bring us to solve next. It's going to be like lots of the mini mysteries and a really big mystery uh, to solve at the end. But yeah guys, I don't really have a whole lot else to say. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week. Also, if you don't forget to on my Instagram, British Shepard 2P is the link in the description below. But yeah guys, let me know in the comments what you thought of this reaction. What did you think about this whole mystery of a season? Did you prefer it from last season or did you really like season one? I think season one does sort of top it doesn't it but honestly i really want to get some discussion going guys i'd be happy to answer your questions uh, and just talk about this show it's been fantastic uh, and i can't wait to get that started but you guys you know how it goes as ever this has been your boy british chat thanks for watching and i catch you in the next one